All right, here we go. Um, so this is the museum. Turn this back down. Um, so this is the museum. And I like it. It's a nice, simple museum. Um, like I said, these things have been the buildings that I've chosen so far. I haven't really had to do much to it at all. So this is the awesome thing about it. So like they have a little cafeteria here. Um, got the little statues and things up. Little art room. And then on the second floor, they have more um, pictures and things up here. Bad two bathrooms here outside. And then this nice balcony. I love this. I would like to have this in my home. I had. I'm telling you, this would be nice. I can just sit out here and have a little serene environment. Okay. Let y'all look at this. Look at my stuff. Ain't it pretty? Don't y'all just get look like that when you put your own stuff in here and you see your building sitting here like, hey, look what I did. Look what I did. But yeah. So this is a library I put down. The fitness center and the museum. So I'm just about done here, but you see it did not register. So let me go back out and in again to register. I'm telling y'all I hate this stuff. <laughs> I wish they make it to where everything just registers um, to the building that it's supposed to be. But it doesn't. So, hey, what can I say? So, I'm on another journey to register the building. Have you all ever gotten your sims to a point to where they became a good artist and painted um, things and, you know, you can sell the paintings and gotten to where you, they written books and they sold them for a lot of money and all those different things? What were your experience with that? Um, let me know. Comment in the comment box below. I would love to get your comments on your experience with actually making the sims do things i started off good you know when they had sims 2 and like i um mentioned before these pop-ups oh okay like i mentioned before um i may go back and even play my previous sims um install those and play sims apartment life and i have what do i have what do i have sims apartment life i have um sims for sims 2 i have sims deluxe sims 3 i have um yeah that's what i have <laughs> sims 3 okay here we go sims 3 i have university life i have a brain spark or brain lapse, whatever you want to call it. I can't think of what I have. Um, university life, I have Sims Adventures or whatever it's called. I have quite a few. So if you'd like to see any tutorials or Let's Play Sims on any of those, I would be glad to do those tutorials or just do a Sim vlog on playing those games. Um, just let me know in the comment box below and I will do that. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and I will be glad to do that. So just let me know below what you all would like to see. I don't, like I said, with this channel, um, I know I'm going to be doing tutorials. I'm going to be doing reviews on mods and different things like that. And just trying to get a story life going on my game. Once I get my game started, get my story life going. And I'll probably put in some captions to make it a little bit funner. Oh, I forgot I put the school down already. I'm thinking, oh. Okay, I need to do that. Oh, it's the high school that I need to do. Boo. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is put in the house and the high school. And I know the one I use here is, um, there's not much changes I need to do. So I'm not even going to play with that that much. I'm just going to put it down and get going. Get going, get going. When will be, mama? When will be? 
Okay, this is the one that I used, I believe. I believe it was. Oh, no, that was. I wanted to do a boarding school. And Sims 3, that's one thing I loved about Sims 3 because you have the option of having, like, a homeschool environment. And I hope that Zerbu does a, a mod, update his mods, you know, for or do a mod. Or the NRAS, they do mods for Sims 3 where we can do the homeschooling because that was awesome I'm like I found this building I was like oh this would have been perfect I had went and I changed it and I upgraded everything and got in there and they couldn't live on the lot because I had to identify it as an elementary school so I was bombed I was like boo so that sucked jinkies so, um, yeah, this is the one that I changed. I'm glad it's saved in here because I was like, oh, it's not working. I'm going to have to um, resave it. If you all want to go in here, like I said, um, I don't know if my buildings are showing up to the community lot. Well, share to gallery. Let me try that. I have to connect. So I usually do this and share to the gallery, and then it wants me to connect. And so I don't know if it's actually going in because I know my sister says that she can't see mines and I can't see her buildings. But I spend a lot of time doing these buildings and I'm like everyone else. It takes a lot of time, but you can be proud in the buildings that you make. And so I would like you all to be able to get the buildings that I create. Because um, I don't mind building, you know, if I build a park or I build... A house or I make people and you want something certain you want a maxed out family I believe the families that I do show up but I don't believe what is this I don't know if that tells me that it's there show showcase item in your profile okay well <clears throat> But anyhow, um, I did this and I have here the cafeteria before. Well, actually, this I had right here first. I had the dormitory and it was it was actually the house for the people and the dormitory. The family lived upstairs and then the first level was the first two levels was dormitories for the kids to come into school. And I wanted to um, do the homeschooling option and different things like that, which when I first did Sims 4, I first did Sims 4, they, you know, they came, you know. And so now it's like when I got all this, I put all the classes and everything. This was a pre-made building by eBreak 2, and I didn't have to do too much to it, but um, I just kind of changed some things, took one of the building sections out for the final school, but it would have been cool to be able to use that. But Nemo, though, right? Uh, okay, let me see. The high school that I want to use after I did all that blurring. I think the high school that I use, I still need to put my retail store in also. Okay, um, I know some of these register some. Of, I'm not sure if I tried this one, so. Mm, get out of my window. Okay, this one, I'm not sure if I tried. I think I did. Or I think my sister tried it. Let me put this down and then I'll have to, when I go... And see, it tells me this a person has downloaded Newcrest Building. Okay, well, that should have been me. <laughs> oh, what is this? View item details. Oh, well, da. Save to the gallery. Okay, well, okay. Um, 40 by 30. I'm going to put this one down here. Furnished. And see how it goes. I can't check it, of course, until they get to high children i'm starting i probably um may do one teen one child and the parents um and get a story life going and see how everything goes with that but i don't know yet i don't know yet um i'll see i will see I guess my music wants to give you a different interlude, so it's 
doing its own thing here. You should not be taking that long, okay. <clears throat> Something I hate when my computer starts to go slow is like, okay, really? Especially when you're making videos, it's like, really? So I was finally, you know, struggling trying to put these buildings down and they weren't turning. I'm like, okay, now I got a backwards building. But I finally figured that out, so I'm like, okay. So that was good to find out. I hope this thing is not getting stuck. I guess not. We are in motion, people. Okay. So how many of you all out there like to build your own buildings and um, things like that? Comment below. Let me know. Let me know what is your process and the kind of buildings you like to do, contemporary, uh, modern. Lately, I find myself leaning towards modern modern buildings. Why? I don't know. <laughs> um, but that's what I has been doing. That's what it's teased lately. So yeah, more than likely, um, these parts, make sure you watch all parts of preparing the move because there's so much to do in getting this city filled. I, if you see this in one big video, then, um, thank you for watching. <laughs> if not, then more than likely I probably cut it. More than likely I've cut it in two or three parts. Because I don't want to overstretch your time in watching just one video. So, um, more than likely, I did. I did put this into parts. Why is there a sink in here? I don't get this. Why is there a sink in the science room? Messy. We have a sink in the science room. Okay. That is nasty. So let's move that out. Don't need this. I'll put this in here. I want... Something is in my way, so I'm going to do the BB move objects on cheat so that I can be able to move what I need to move. And that's, of course, Control Alt C, and then you do your BB, your BB, your BB move objects on. Okay, I like to always try to make sure I have enough of these things around because um, I don't know how many students are going to be here. So I like to try to make sure there's room and that um, sinks everywhere.
so um these things are awesome look at this a 3,000 square foot size flat screen these kids are living it up in this school I might turn these desks a different way I'm not sure okay this will work uh, put this back up so I think I'm going to make this one the computer room here put some computers on these desks oh, come on what's on this desk that I can't pick up what is you? What is that? Is that a light? Okay. I don't know what that is, but okay. Incredible medical instruments. Um, okay, I guess that's supposed to be medical room or I don't know but I'm going to put some computers on this desk here and give the kitties some more computer space Okay, so science room, computer room, bathroom, library. I'm going to put some more tables in this library. So let me definitely want more computers in here. I might do that. Same. And then again, I don't want it not to work. Later. Two hours later. Is this a desk? I think that might be a desk, so that's not going to work for me. Um. Uh -uh. Let's do that one. So I usually like to put two computers on the table, on the table, so that I can have a lot more cheering in here. Make sure everyone is accommodated. And I like to with Sims 4 how now you can just delete a whole table or the whole item without having to um, without having to remove everything one at a time. I think it was Sims 2 or 3 that we had to do that. To take everything off before we was able to actually delete the item, the main item. So that is awesome. Okay, I want one more table here. 
and I might put another one here. Let me see, let me see. And let me show you all. Sometimes you don't put the table, the chairs under the table properly. It may be, I don't know if it's going to do it now. But you may put it in and think that it's under there. It's not, but your whole table should move. Tables and chairs, everything on it should move. And of course, while I'm trying to show you, it's not doing it, so... What can I say? Okay, one more table. Oopsie, oopsie. See, like this, it looks like the tables are connected, but when you move the table, it's not. So you screw them up, skew them up, and now it's all connected. Let's do one more. Why not? I really did not want to come in here right now doing a lot of stuff with the school, but because I don't know if I'm going to do one teen and one child, I figure that I might as well get the school ready. Okay, that's the library. Now this workshop, I definitely want to put more... Uh, workshop things in here so like I said I don't normally know how many kids I'm going to have in the school so I just like to make sure that I have enough tables when I dealt with the regular schools before they fought over who can use what and it was just not a pretty sight so um, I want to make sure that I have enough of everything. It would be nice also, Zerbu, if you ever watch this, that um, we can get teachers to actually be... Um, in the classrooms to make it more realistic. I know in Sims 3, the mods for NRAS, they had to where the teachers could actually get the teacher career and do that kind of stuff. But um, I need to go take out that mirror in the other classroom. Anyhow, um, the teachers being in the classroom would make it realistic and probably um, give us more challenge, give more of a challenge also. Cause I like a challenge, I like it a lot. So um, that would be good and I can't wait to see what other mods and things that come up that you come up with for this stuff. I would like to learn how to make mods myself. But if I go through that adventure, who knows? I doubt it very seriously. Because I may not get it completed. <laughs> yeah, so my son decided to look at me when I said that because he knows that I will start and not finish. So, me making a mod. Ha ha ha, yeah. Okay. Alright, you got an exercise room, which is, I'm going to put more equipment in here. So...
so uh, we can get this stuff going. I mm, think I want to put in here a couple of more treadmills because they need to exercise make sure they get a lot of exercise mm, let's see. I guess it's not really much I can put in here um, maybe I can fit one more of these here bags if I turn this one maybe just maybe I'll try it if not then I will have to delete it I like this little nurse's station here I wonder if I can copy this I notice they don't let you copy the nurses materials here but it might be unlocked in a medical in a medical um, career I guess this might be the uh, music room someone to take out these desks and put in more instruments <clears throat> Let's see how I want to do this. The majority of the people coming in this music room will probably be standing up playing the guitars and things, so I'm not going to worry about too many too much seating, but I do want to make it look like a music room. So, I'll do that, I guess. And put that there, put that there, put that there. And then I want to move these out here. Also, the difference I see from Sims 4 to Sims 3 is the type of instruments we had more option on guitars and violins and what have you. And that just reminds me, I need to make sure that there is a, that is ugly. I need to make sure that there is a, uh, oh, I have that one already. Make sure that there's a photography room in the school. These here are the notebooks that, um, you get these notebooks and when you put that mod, that mod in here for the notebook it'll act like a computer so I don't well it won't do it while I'm in here but it it acts as like a computer you can do the writing skills and practice all that kind of stuff so that is special okay that's all I'm gonna do with this music room the computer in here for the teacher and oops. I need to have a photography room so I need to delete something uh -uh. probably this room what is this uh -uh. Delete this room here. Oops. And then I want to get, I mentioned earlier in the video that I want to get the kids a better camera because I think the better camera you have, 
they can have better selfies. So I think I want to put I'm going to put different kinds of cameras in here so that they can have option of better pictures and different filter options and things like that. And I can tell already that this lot is not zoned. It did not automatically zone for school, which it should not have. So that is correct. So I need to go out and come back in so that I can um, get my photography stuff that I need for this school. There's some other things in here that I have not had a chance to actually figure out yet. I, I had the Sims 4 for probably about six, seven months maybe. And I haven't really sat down and played it yet, which is cuckoo, but I just haven't had time to do it, so I'm still experimenting. So I guess we will be experimenting to get there. This only thing about this Magolia Promenade neighborhood is there's only two, there's not very many lots in there at all. So if there's a mod to add another plot in the neighborhood, let me know in the comments below because that would be awesome. So I'm going to change this to high school so that I can get my photography equipment. How many of you all have done these reward point trades and different um, aspirations? and had good results with them. Which ones did you use? Let me know in the comments below. I've used aspirations um, and they work really good. You know, a lot of them work really good, especially when you're doing the retail store. They work really, really good. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below which ones you all used and how did it work out for you. All right. Now let me go back upstairs and put in this photography. Now you see the high school items and I have my options and I'm going to change this to say Newcrest High School. So I need photography. Photography, photography, where are you? So maybe if I go to activities and skills somewhere in here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted. So now I need to put some counters in here to um, set the cameras on. And again, I don't know how many students are going to be in here, so... I'm going to uh, put these. Oops, that's not what I want. 
different cameras. This is the Barley Better digital camera. So this is the cheapest one here. I'll put this in here. And then this is the appreciably appreciably average digital camera. So let's put that in there. And I once I make my sims also, I'm gonna put these cameras in their inventory because really because I want them to be able to take better selfies. So, and then this one is the crystal clear digital camera. Okay, I think that's all the cameras, yeah. All right. I may do, let me see, if I can fit another, uh, no, I can't. No, I can't. Okay. Okay, I think this is all I'm going to do with this high school. Except I'm going to, um, let me see, where is the cafeteria? Here we go. Definitely want more tables. At least one or two more. Maybe if I can, because I want to put in here a, uh, bridge. Kind of make it look like the vending machines, like, um, I mentioned with the elementary school, I like the fact that the machines, the vending machines were there. Oh, they were sitting outside. Well, maybe I can put something out here so it's not so cluttered inside. Okay, I'm done with this. <laughs> I've done a lot more with this than I wanted to right now. So getting out of the air, put down the house, and let's get going on this game. 
creating these people so that will be my next video